Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we're going to be doing a patriotic quilt trunk show. I love patriotic quilts. They are one of my favorite next to fall and Christmas. So I have quite a few built up here and I thought it would be fun to do a patriotic quilt trunk show. And since we're doing patriotic stuff, I do have a few little cross stitch pieces that I'm going to share in this as well, just because um, they kind of go with my quilts. So we're going to start off with those because they're kind of fast and easy. So let's start off with our July truck of the month. This was a truck of the month series that I did last year. They are all available in my store. And if you don't live in the U.S., I do have an alternate um, July July truck that has like stars and some other things so it's not quite so um, USA driven uh, but this was really fun a lot of cute little flags on there there's a little checkered quilt on the hanging off the back of the truck um, and then of course that July month and then if you've seen any of my cross stitches they're just magneted on the back so every month I just swapped this out and I kept using this backing, which was really nice and it saves a lot of money to do it that way as well. So that's the July truck of the month. This does come in paper and PDF format for the whole bundle. The individual trucks are just PDF. So this year we are doing house of the month series. And so this is the July house of the month. This one is so fun, uh, really, really cute. There's a cute little flag hanging or flag quilt hanging next to the house and then some stars in the sky. And then you've got those little banners across the house as well and then a little twirly down here hanging off of the L. Now this one I did do an alternate one for as well and then this right here is like a starburst so you don't have an American flag on there. I did leave all the little stars and stuff because I thought they were cute but that is for all of my non-US people and then same deal put washers on the back of this and magnets on the back of my piece and then I can just alternate and reuse this little um, board and I have all the information on this board in my July house of the month video so you can go check that out but I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was so fun and patriotic and then my last cross stitch is a work in progress it is called Liberty it's based on the quilt behind me here and the one I just released and one of you guys requested that I do a cross stitch for it and I thought oh what a fun idea I think I am going to try and do that for all of my quilt releases coming forward because I know a lot of you like those uh, but we'll see I kind of just didn't even think about it so here's what it's looking like and all the information for the floss and everything is in the in the listing and of course in the pattern so this is the progress that I made. I actually just started it. So I did all of that in one night and then I'm hoping to finish the rest of the other side of it today and then I'll move on to the inside. And we are doing a sew along for this or a stitch along for this. So all that information is on my website. I will link it below. It has a schedule. And if you share all your progress with hashtag Liberty QAL, then I'm going to be picking one winner from that hashtag and I'm gonna send out a fun little patriotic bundle for you. But here's what it's hopefully gonna look like when I'm all done. And I think that's just gonna be really really fun. So I haven't got very far, <laughs> but I thought I would share it with you anyways. Okay. That's all my patriotic cross stitch. I told you it wasn't a whole lot. So now we're going to be moving into my quilts. So the first quilt that I'm going to share with you is Liberty. I'm not going to do a whole big spiel on it because I just did an entire video on it. So you can definitely go check that if you want. Liberty is my newest released pattern for the patriotic season. And this one was so much fun. This quilt actually finishes quite large. It's 86 by 86. So it's a really good size quilt. And of course it features some fun vintage flag blocks and some cute little pinwheels in a bowl. And then it has that adorable flying geese border that I just showed you in my cross stitch as well. The fabric that I used for this is called Sweet Liberty by Brenda Riddle for Moda. It's a really soft kind of vintage vibe and I thought it would just be so much fun. Now most of my patriotic quilts are really like red, navy, aqua, and white. So I kind of had that vibe going and I just really wanted to do something different and so that's why I went with this lighter themed quilt. I know that you guys are loving it because Carrie from Catching Stitches, uh, she may still have some kits left but she had to restock them. She, they sold out the first run so I know a lot of you are loving this vibe as well. This quilt's actually a lot of fun to put together. Even though it's so large, the blocks themselves are actually quite large, and so it comes together really fast. And they're also very easy blocks. There's nothing super difficult in this. Um, I think the hardest thing is just making sure your pinwheels are going the right way, and frankly, that's always hard for me. I always have to lay them out before I sew them, because inevitably I'll have one of the little flyer thingies going the wrong direction. So just lay everything out before you sew it. But otherwise, this quilt is actually quite easy. The other suggestion I'm gonna make for this quilt is that you starch all of your fabrics prior to cutting. Because we're making the half square triangles eight at a time, you're working on bias seams, which means they can be really stretchy. Um, the pattern actually has you make them just slightly larger, a little bit oversized, and then you trim them down so they're all perfect when you're done. That also really helps out in keeping um, all of your pieces accurate for this quilt. So that is Liberty. 
Liberty, like I said, I'll link the video for it below. Um, I go into much more detail and show it up close. That pattern also comes with two bonus patterns. There's a pillow and a table runner. And um, I have patterns in there for those, but honestly, you can kind of mix and match your leftover pieces and make them into, you know, a different shaped runner, a smaller pillow, etc. So just have fun with all those little bonus pieces that you can play with. Um, I actually have one block left. I think you, you can kind of see it right here on my wall. And I think I'm going to make a little tote bag out of it. So have fun with that pattern. Thank you guys for all of your purchases on it. Um, hopefully you guys are going to love it and have a lot of fun making it. Here's our July truck of the month. We did this series last year and I used that cute vintage truck. Of course, I had to put the flag in it. I do also have an alternate pattern for this one as well. And then here is the backing on that. I used this cute star backing and of course a navy gingham binding. And I have this adorable little label on here. I think this came from my Liberty box from Fat Quarter Shop. And all of the fabrics for this one were from my stash. They're mostly Bonnie and Camille fabrics. And then I used my Moda Bella 9997 for my background. And then here is the July house of the month this year. This is so cute. I still used Bonnie and Camille prints from my stash. And then I used the Moda Bella 9900-97 for my background. And I think the only thing I would probably change on this one is the front of the house. This blue is actually supposed to be a little bit more contrasting from the side of the house. This should have been a little bit darker just so you could see the difference between them a little bit better. I still think it turned out cute, um, but if you're gonna be doing yours, I would highly recommend to doing a little bit better. It calls for a light blue, a medium blue, and then a dark blue. And so I just needed to probably have picked something that would contrast a little better, but that's okay. And then I also did a low volume for my window and for my little flag stripes. I did a stars and swirl quilting on this and I actually did do this one on my long arm. It's not too hard to put these tiny pieces on my long arm and just quilt them up really fast. And then for the back side, I did this cute star print and this is a Minikin Simpson print. And then I did a red gingham binding and then I also had these personalized labels that I ordered from Ever Emblem and put that on the back as well. So very cute. So it's really cute. I love this house. Hopefully you guys are enjoying our house of the month series that we are doing this year. My next pattern that I'm going to feature is called Freedom. Freedom looks like this. It was put out in 2019. This one finishes at 66 by 66. So it's not huge. It's perfect to throw on your bed or your couch, just kind of as a little accent quilt. Um, and of course, you can take it out for picnics and things like that. The other fun thing I did on this quilt was the star sashing. And so you can see these little stars in between the blocks. Um, and so I thought it'd be cute to add to this quilt. Um, for this quilt, I used a mix of my Bonnie and Camille prints. I believe there's some vintage picnic in here. There's probably some day sale in here. Um, I think, yeah, I think that outer border is um, from day sale. So I kind of have a horde of Bonnie and Camille prints and they have some great reds, navies, and aquas. And so I love working with those for their patriotic quilts. So this quilt was a lot of fun. I um, quilted this on my little TL2000 Juki here that you see in all of my sewing tutorials. So I just did it on my own home sewing machine so you can do it at home as well. I have some videos on how to uh, free motion and straight line quilt. So definitely give it a shot if you haven't ever. It's a lot of fun. And I think it's kind of nice to know that you made something from start to finish. Now, if you just absolutely hate it, that's fine. Send it out to a long armor. They obviously do amazing work, but I really like the feeling of accomplishment that I've done the whole thing on my own. I just did a really simple quilt pattern on this. It's just a really big meander. It's not even a tight quilt. So I did fairly large little swirls and swoops and things like that all over this whole thing. So it went fairly quickly. And when you wash a quilt with like wider quilting like that it just makes it really snugly and crinkly so I like that the more dense quilting the kind of more stiff your end quilt is going to be and I wanted this to be more of like a picnic throw on the couch snuggle up under a like swing you know and have a little sweet tea in the evening type of quilt so I just did a really easy wide quilting on it. So that's Freedom. I love this one. It's a lot of fun and of course very patriotic. The next quilt I'm going to feature is called Stars and Stripes. This quilt features a fabric line called American Dream by Danny Mogstad for Riley Blake Designs. It, the line features some really nice navies and of course reds and then there's a variety of low volume prints in there which are perfect. I also used a low volume flower print from that line as well for the backing and I just thought it was really cute and kind of perfect for the creamy vibe. I was going for on this quilt. The colors are fun. The low volume makes it super cuddly. It's creamy kind of low volumes. And so it just makes it really soft and cozy looking. 
For the quilting on this, I did it on my long arm. So this is one of the first quilts I think that I did on my long arm. And I just did some swirls and then I did some stars. And if you're gonna be trying a new design ever, just grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Don't erase, don't lift it off the paper and just practice drawing without lifting your pencil. So I just did loops like this and then eventually I did a star and then I just kept going and I just made sure that I could keep going. I figured out which way was best to get in and out of my star and you just get that rhythm going. Once you have that down, go down to your machine and just go for it. I've done that design on my long arm downstairs. I've also done that design here on my Juki uh, 2000. So, I mean, you can do it on a small machine as well. Obviously doing it on the long arm was a little bit easier because I didn't have to move my quilt around so much, but that design is really fun and it's actually kind of a go-to for me for patriotic quilts because it's fun, it's easy, it's cute, everybody loves it and it goes really fast. So it's just an all over free form design and once you quilt it, even if you have a few little mess ups in there with your stars or whatever, nobody's ever gonna notice. So I definitely encourage you to give it a try. And don't forget your labels. I did a cute label, personalized label on the back of this. It's from Sweetwater Fabrics Tag Subscription and it, each month they send me personalized labels for my quilt. They're iron on, you can also sew them in. I usually back them with some white because they're white and if you're using like a print or anything, you can usually see that through your label. So I'll usually back them with some white fabric and then choose another color to border it and then sew that on the back of my quilt. And yes, you can hand sew them on, but I do just machine sew them on because it's faster and um, you can kind of see it from the front obviously but it's usually not enough for me to notice that there's a label on the quilt so I just go ahead and do it and like I said once you wash it and it gets crinkly you can't really see it so I love labeling my quilts I used to be really bad at it um, I used to always forget and a lot of my original quilts are out there gifted with no information on them and so that makes me a little bit sad I kind of want to get them back and add some labels to them so people know where they came from. So make sure you label your quilts. That's my PSA. That's it for stars and stripes. Let's go ahead and move on to our next quilt, which is Valor. And Valor came out in 2021. It finishes at 64 by 76. And actually I made this because my quilt guild that I belong to does quilts of Valor. And um, my father-in-law was a Vietnam veteran. And so I thought, you know what? I should make one for him. I don't know why I hadn't thought about it before. And so I did come up with this quilt design. I ordered a label specifically for him and I made one extra block for the back of this quilt, um, an extra star block, and I put the label in that. And I just thought it was a really nice way to honor him. We awarded it to him at Christmas of 2021. Um, I think it is in our Vlogmas video. And actually I had only taken some pictures and then we awarded the quilt to him. And so it's been at their house since then. So I did have my mother-in-law bring it back with her so that I can take some video of it for you um, for this video. It does fit with the Valor um, organization requirements. So the size and all of that, you can do this as a Quilt of Valor to donate to the organization as well. If you haven't ever heard of them, you can check them out. I will link their website below and put it right here on the screen for you. Um, but it's a great organization and they take quilt donations, Valor quilts. They even have a bunch of free patterns on their website actually that you can do as well if you don't like this one. Um, and then you can donate to them and they award it to different um, veterans. So it's a really cool program. The fabric that I used for this is called American Gathering by Primitive Gatherings for Moda. It's a really deep navies and reds and I just thought it would be perfect for my father-in-law. Seemed like it was more, you know, manly colors. Uh, this quilt is probably one of my favorites that I've made and it was really meaningful to be able to gift it or uh, I guess you don't gift it, you award it to them um, at Christmas in front of our whole family. So, and my mother-in-law actually folds it so the backing is showing and that star on the back that has his label with all of his information on it is what she has showing out. So anyways, you don't get to see the front of it if you go to her house, but I thought it was kind of funny that she was showing the back of the quilt always. Uh, that is Valor, and if you haven't made a quilt of Valor yet and you have some extra red, white, and blue fabric and some spare time, I highly recommend making a quilt of Valor and donating it to the organization. The next quilt I'm gonna feature is Jelly Roll Jamboree. Now, when I did my video here on YouTube the first time, I used a Jelly Roll and I used my Scrumptious by Bonnie and Camille Jelly Roll. So it was lots of fun, summery, springy colors. And then I was sitting around one day and I had some fat quarters, red, white, and blue. And I was like, I should make that in a red, white, and blue version. And I didn't have a Jelly Roll. So instead of cutting Jelly Roll strips, I was like, how can I do this with fat quarters to make my life easier? And so I did another video for the Jelly Roll Jamboree 
with fat quarters. And so you can check out that video um, here on YouTube. I will link it below as well. And it was so fast and easy to put this quilt top together. And it ended up being one of my favorite quilts for the patriotic season. It's very simple. It's very beginner friendly. So if you haven't done any quilting before, it's a very easy quilt to put together. Um, you can either do the jelly roll or fat quarter um, version. Both are super, super easy. I actually still have not to this day quilted this quilt top. This is one of my only quilt tops that I have. I always like finish a project before I start a new one. I'm kind of like, you know, monogamous like that. For some reason, I think I just didn't have time to finish this one and it got set aside. The backing is done, the binding is done. Literally all I have to do is quilt it and <laughs> finish it. So that is my goal for this month is to get that quilt top finished. The fabric that I used on this one is called One Fine Day by Bonnie and Camille, and I just used the reds, pinks, navies, and some white. This one I called the Fat Quarter Friendly Jelly Roll Jamboree. It finishes at 76 by 76, but honestly, you can, this is one of those quilts that you can add rows to very easily. You just need a little bit more fabric, and you can make it any size you want. You could also take a row away as well. I think it would be a really cute baby quilt, um, just because of all the fun colors, and like I said, it's super easy easy to put together. Do your cats like pins? He like just picked the pins out of the, that was holding up my block. Anyway, the background sashing I used on this was actually a leftover print that I had in my stash. And I think that this was used in possibly my Stars and Stripes quilt as one of the low volumes. And I just had a bunch left over and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that and use it in this quilt. And so I was really happy to be able to use some of that up. And plus I think it turned out really cute. The next quilt that I want to share with you is called Chairberry. This is what the original Chairberry looked like. It was those soft pinks and greens, really fun. It released in 2021. The finished quilt was 62 by 76, and I thought it would be really fun to have a patriotic version of this. And so I took this quilt and I removed this bottom row of blocks and so it's a uh, square now and now it finishes i think this one finishes at about 57 by 57 because instead of doing the border that this one comes with i just did a super plain border i did a little skinny one with a background and then a wider border and that just kind of finished it off and i think it looks great the fabric for this was just a mix of my Bonnie and Camille stash. I used a ton of different lines. So I think there's some day sale in there, some vintage picnic. I think there's uh, some one fine day in there and just all kinds of different colors that I could come up with from their lines. They tend to blend really well anyways. And so I just picked reds, navies, and some greens. I think there's even um, some brown in there from Lori Holt. And some of the greens are possibly from Fig Tree. It's been a while since I've made that. So don't hold me to it, but I thought the patriotic version of it would be so much fun. And then on the backing of that one, I did an aqua gingham print that is really cute. That was from another Bonnie and Camille line. I think it was their vintage picnic line. And I've actually been hoarding it for a while. I was gonna put it on my ironing board back here, but I always, whenever I'm buying backings, I usually buy about five yards of backing. So I have some options with it. And so I've been hanging on to it. And finally I was like, you know what? That would be perfect for the back of this quilt. Of course, I added a label to the back of this one. Again, it's from my Sweetwater tag subscription. I think any labels that I'm showing you on the back of these are gonna be from that uh, because they're just so much fun and they always send out patriotic labels and so I just hang on to them until I, um, you know, it's the season and then I can use those, so. All right, the last quilt that I'm gonna be showing today is called Vintage Glory. This was probably one of my first patriotic quilts that I put out. It uses my standard vintage truck. I have ones for all of the seasons. I've got Vintage Glory, fall, Christmas, spring, and summer. So you can buy them all in a bundle if you love that vintage truck vibe. So Vintage Glory is possibly my favorite one I have made. It is so much fun. Now this one is probably more like beginner intermediate, I would say, um, maybe even just straight up intermediate, mainly because the amount of pieces that are involved in it. This quilt came out in 2020. It finishes at 76 by 76. And I use, again, a variety of um, Bonnie and Camille prints. I can't remember the line. I will put it on the screen below because I'm sure um, I will be able to find it. I used to not put the fabric that the sample is sewn in on the back of here and now I'm regretting that. So all my patterns going forward have that fabric. Whether you can get it or not, it's at least on there and you can kind of get a starting point. Um, but anyways, this one is so much fun to put together. It does have a lot of pieces. That's why I'm saying more intermediate for it. Um, and some of them are smaller. It is traditional piecing all the way. So it is nothing, you know, there's no paper piecing or anything like that on this, just straightforward piecing. But there are a lot of pieces. There are some bias seams and things like that. Vintage 
Vintage Glory features these cute little houses with flags next to them. And then of course, my vintage truck with a flag out the back. And this actually originally started as a mini because someone had asked me to do just the truck with the flag. And so I originally sold it as a mini, which was really cute. But then I was like, you know, I did these entire quilts for all the other seasons. Why not make Vintage Glory into a full quilt? And so that's what I did. This one, I did quilt on my Juki TL2000, my little machine that you see in all my videos. And it was a good size quilt to do on that machine. I will say that I've done, I've actually done a king size quilt on this machine. You just have to kind of roll it up and be intentional with how much you're shoving into your machine. And so I usually quilt those big quilts in quadrants. So like, for example, I would quilt this quadrant and then kind of turn the whole thing around and quilt this quadrant and then come back and do this one and this one. And that just makes it a little bit easier so you're not shoving so much into your machine at a time, especially if you have a smaller machine. That's what I did on Vintage Glory. I love how it turned out and I love pulling this quilt out every year. All right, the last quilt I'm gonna feature is called Lucky Layer Cake. I know you have all seen it because it was a free tutorial here on YouTube. This one released this year, 2023, and it finishes at 77 by 77. I used a Nantucket Summer Layer Cake by Camille Ross Kelly for Moda. And then um, on my outer border, I used a print from her Dwell line. The blues match really, really well. And I know Nantucket Summer is out of stock everywhere, so I apologize for that. If you can still get a hold of some of the Dwell line, um, those blues are almost identical, and so you can get the same kind of vibe. This one I made using the light blues, navies, and greens, but I'm actually going to remake it using patriotic fabric. That's why I'm showing it in today's video. I do have some red, white, and blue fabric lying around, and I thought it would be really fun. Now, I don't have a layer cake of it. I have fat quarters, and you can get two layer cake pieces out of one fat quarter. This particular pattern calls for 36 layer cake pieces, so all you need are 18 fat quarters to make this quilt. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this summer. I'm, it's not gonna to be done in time for probably July 4th I don't think I mean you never know I've got a lot going on right now so it may or may not get done um, but quilting the jelly roll jamboree and then making lucky layer cake in patriotic is my two top priorities for this month so I wanted to share this quilt again because I think it would be perfect in patriotic colors it's all stars it's a lot of fun it's very easy to put together and I thought patriotic would be really fun and if I can I'll insert a little picture here of my mock-up for it in the red white and blue but kind of imagine wherever there's green on here there would um, be red. That's kind of, I think, the vibe I'm gonna be going for. And that's it for my patriotic quilt trunk show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful summer. And don't forget to join me for my Liberty Quilt Along and my Liberty Stitch Along. Those are both going on right now. And if you didn't join on time, don't worry about it. It's really just for fun. So just sew or stitch at your own pace and just come and join us in the Facebook group. And um, it's just kind of fun to do projects with friends. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun videos. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you next time. Ooh, right, here we go. So you can check that out um, on my channel as well. Oh, <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm trying to be better about that now and having that tag subscription and having the tabs actually folds it inside out and has the lining facing out because it's got that star in the back with his um, label with all of his information on there. So <laughs> I was like, well, you could turn it the right way around. Hello, Jax. I've got it right here and I used, it's upside down. And I just did an overall meander on this. I think by the time I was done, I just wanted to get it done. Is that true? So for this, so for the design, I just did an overall swirl design. So I just, <clears throat> whoa joking okay actually I'm gonna do okay so insert the quilt panorama for the uh, thumbnail and then also don't forget to film each one try and do it laying down so everybody can see it and yeah I think that's it it's just like a kind of wide meander I believe I did on this one did I where is it like it's okay <laughs> it's all right. You guys are fine. <laughs> okay, turn around. Do the turn around. <laughs> You're supposed to rotate the other way.
There we go. Yeah, this was before my labeling days. I should put a. I need to go back and label all my old. <laughs> oh my word. Hold it tight like it's looping in the. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> A tiny little label down there in the corner. This is Vintage Glory. One of my favorites. Okay, let's see the back. <laughs> oh, the back isn't. Oh, dude, I didn't label Vintage Glory. I need to label Vintage Glory. Okay, that's nothing. <laughs> 